G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today's video is going to be about the Helicontex Water Canteen Pouch, which is going to be the first addition to my get home bag. This is the Helicontex water canteen pouch. I did make a video about this in the past. But I thought I'll make an updated one because I've been using it for a while on packs on my belt, different ways. And this is gonna go on to my Helicontex EDC backpack, which I'm building up to be my get home bag in case anything happens. Then it'll go in the back of the car and I'll be able to get home safe and this is the next bit to it. It's made out of 500D Cordura fabric. Uh, all the buckle, or the, all the buckles I was going to say, the buckle on it is your Rugin buckle, very high quality, easy to undo. And let's get it back into place. Uh, easy to do up also. Now we've got two loops at the top, you can probably see. They're for attaching it to your belt and they're big enough by the lots to fit I'd say up to about 50 millimeters, about two inches there. So that'll fit most of your bushcraft belts, your military belts and your normal belt and your pants. We have two rows of molly webbing and that's on both sides. So if you wanted to you could add additional to it. On the back we have the Molly Pals ribbon as well, so you can attach it to your tactical uh, pack. And we've got one, two, three, four rows of Molly webbing with two columns going down for your Molly strapping. What I do like about these ones, I've turned into my favourite ones now, is they're not the buckle ones, even though the buckle ones are really good. What these ones are, it is uh, folded over two and a half times with a plastic stiffener in by the locks. So when you actually attach it to your pack to make it secure, it'll just go underneath the last row of webbing and that's it. Now, even though it's only attached one, it takes a good bit to get it off. So once you've got it underneath each of these and the one on your pack, that's gonna be near enough impossible to get off. Uh, you'll probably find your pack rips first before this will come off. Down the back, in between the two loops for your belt and the molly webbing. Let's put them down there out of the way so they're not going to be flapping around. We've got somewhere where you can put your knife. And it's got a Velcro bottom. knife will come out uh, the bottom of saw them out and I'll just hook on there and that's going nowhere so that's handy to have let's put the knife on one side now it's from the bushcraft range so that's why I originally bought it for the Bergen I so said the buckle the strap is adjustable with the Rudian buckles I'm going to open it up And that's the inside. The lid has got a lining on it. It will hold a one litre water bottle. And I've got the canteen in there at the moment, so you can see. And that will have been in there quite easy. Nothing else inside, just a single, no pockets. A lining on the front. Yeah. Not much more can be said about that, but what did it say? It weighs in at 150 grams. Dimensions are 24, 10 by 8 centimeters. Total capacity 
if you're not using a bottle and you're just putting gear in it, they say it's two litres, or it takes a one litre bottle. And it comes in, what colours have they got? Odie green, black, shadow grey, earth brown, and clay, adaptive green, or coyote brown. Now another thing I like about these is the side is stiffened. So when you're putting your lid over there, it can be a little bit fiddly. But once you get used to doing it and you've got a water bottle in, let's put a canteen in to show you. Canteen goes in nice and easy, goes over, locks that up, and now your stiff, stiffened sides are up in there, so it's not going to be pushed down or folded like this. As you can see, it's awkward to get it out. So you've got a nice seal all the way around. Now the material is water resistant. The pad is not waterproof because you've got the opening here. We've got a drain hole on the bottom. So if your uh, water bottle did actually leak, it'd drip out the bottom. Or if you've got any dust in there, the dust will just fall out the small hole at the bottom. And now I'll move you back up to the pack, which I previously reviewed, and show you where I'm going to be fitting it. So this is the Helicontex EDC backpack. I've already fitted one of the pouches on and there's two ways you can do this. If you want it to sit level or just above the level of the bottom of the pack, we'll take it through the top molly webbing first. like that and then we take it through the molly here and then we'll just weave it in and out or if you don't want it like this one is we can have it so it sits just below the bottom of this pack which is what I'm going to do with this one and the one on this side I'll be adjusting the same but I'll put that on there as a test to see how it fit so this time, because I'm it's going to be sitting a little bit lower out there, I'm going to go through the web in there first with the molly strap. And then through the back of the molly webbing on the pouch. Do the same with the second one. Then through the next one here. I'll tell you what I have realised, I actually wanted it over this one. So let's quickly take it off and then show you what it looks like. So I've moved it to where my back panel is so I can keep the weight as close to my back as possible and not as much pulling me backwards, so that's why I wanted it here. I've brought it through the top one, then through the pouch, through the second one, through the pouch, through the third one, tucked it up under, behind that into the pouch. So it's going to be nice and sturdy. Now you can see this one sits a lot higher and because there's only two of them it's not as sturdy. So I'm going to swap that one so it's the same as this. So there is the Helicontex water canteen pouch attached to the Helicontex EDC backpack. It does sit below, but not too much, but I believe once you get the stuff in there by the looks of it, the actual bottom will level out. So we'll have a look. I'll do, do this, do that. And we'll throw the swag man in the front just to have a look how far it comes down. Yeah, with the swag man in, it's actually level with the bottom of the pouches. 
So now I can either use this to carry my water canteens if I didn't want to put the hydration inside so I can save space or I can use it to throw a poncho in there or a hoochie in there. But that's it, it's made it a little bit more versatile now. And that's going in the back of the car so it doesn't matter what people think it looks like as long as it gets me home safe and I can use it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have and you're not a subscriber please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell next to that and do thumbs up the like button. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.